Hey everyone, welcome back to Jardev. Today I'm taking a look at a demo for an upcoming game called Coffee Talk. Uh, this is from itch.io itch .io right now. Um, they've got a Steam page up, but it's not going to be coming out on Steam until 2019. So this is just a free demo you can get from itch.io. Itch I prefer itch.io, that's just me. This game is made by Toge Productions, or Toge, T-O-G-E, I'll say Toge. I'll just mispronounce like everything in this video. Uh, and it's a game about listening to people's problems and you help them by serving a warm drink out of the ingredients you have. Uh, I'm taking a look at this at the request of Sean Heatherly, who got to request this because he backs my Patreon campaign at the top tier, which you can find at patreon.com slash jardev. And apparently it's very like Valhalla, but some of, some of the letters in that are numbers, I think. Uh, I haven't actually played it, but apparently it's very good. And I'm pretty sure Sean like absolutely loves that game. So I've got a cup of coffee in my hand right now. It's, it's just McDonald's because that's what I have for lunch. But uh, I absolutely love coffee, so I'm pretty stoked. I, I really like the aesthetic of coffee or something. I don't know, I really like coffee video games as well, like beans. And so this one looks really cool. Let's play it. What is my name? Can we actually type? No. Uh... John. Bam. Yes, it is. I was gonna say this is Seattle. I was like, that look, that's definitely the Space Needle, right? And then it popped up. But I was drinking coffee, so I couldn't say it was Seattle. And it's in 2020. 20 years after the end of the world did... After the end of the world end, prophecy was proven wrong. A time when the big war between the races is only a footnote in history time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. It's not actually that far off now, and have those dreams crushed without even getting the chance to be discussed. But still, it's a place in time where anything can happen. It's when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. Okay, <laughs> so we've got all the fantasy races in here, probably. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves and started their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and used computers to forward their lives. And when humans live among them, just like we've always known. It's a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. It's a very cool idea. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and closed doors. They've spoken over drinks before taking up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a cafe, a place that's only open when the sun is sleeping, a place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. Thursday, 1st of October, 2020. Only two years off. Get ready, people. Okay, so it might be like a little bit of Papers, Please, kind of. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Hi, Pops. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. An Ice Nine Kills fan, nice. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe. <laughs> We've got a slight problem, though. <gasps> what happened? The store where I usually get my ingredients made some logistical errors. So I didn't get most of the ingredients I usually use to make my drinks. Man, that's a bummer. It is, but don't worry. I still have the ingredients I need to make the coffee you need. Ah, that's nice to hear. It'd be pretty silly to open your coffee shop if you couldn't even serve a simple espresso. I hope there's a whole, like, coffee making mini game. That would be amazing. This would be game of the year 2019. Can't argue with that. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're the first customer on a really bad day for the cafe. Don't worry, take your time. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. I'm a writer, not an editor, so I'm used to taking things slow. You guys need some, uh, <laughs> some spell checking? I'm pretty good at that. Proofreading? I'll do it. Real slow. Ah, writer's block again. You got that right. Are you working on another big scoop? Or is this about your plan to write that big work of fiction? It's the latter. Ah, the machine is ready. Pardon the interruption, but do you want your triple shot espresso now? <clears throat> Not a fan of espresso, gotta say. Uh, my dad got this ridiculously fancy coffee machine for Christmas last year, and it does everything. Um, and so we, we had to try the espressos. 
really not a fan. They're, I find them very gross, and I absolutely love coffee. Yes, please. I really need that triple shot espresso. Oh, hell yeah. Do I get to make it up? It's a green tea. Tea. Cocoa powder. Coffee. And also milk. So coffee. Uh, more coffee. And more coffee. Eh? This is cool. This is so cool. Espresso, I did it! I fucking love this. <laughs> One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Oh, I can do that too. I can't, I can't do it out of the McDonald's things. <laughs> ah, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? You're about to tell me your plan regarding writing fiction on a big scale. Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing short stories from these people, you know. But it seems like it's the right time for me to challenge myself a bit more. That's good for you. Ah, sounds good in theory. But when you start to really do it, that's when reality hits hard. Well, I mean, that's to be expected. At least, you still, you know, at least you still have your job to support you while you're writing your novel and the novel in your free time. Heh heh heh. Ha ha ha. Uh, did I say something wrong? Ha ha ha. No, no, you were right. You said what I should have done instead of taking the path I'm on now. And that path is... You know how the newspaper I work for is owned by the biggest book publisher in the country, right? Yes. Well, I asked my chief for the opportunity to focus on writing a novel. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I quit. Basically, I asked him to give me paid leave so I can write the novel for our publisher. Mm-hmm. Come on, don't give me that look. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to ask. And how did your boss react? He challenged me. He said if I can get the initial draft ready in a month, then my weekly target for news will be heavily reduced so I can focus on the novel. And he'll push the fiction publishing division hard to approve my novel for publishing. Although I'll still need to submit daily short stories too. That's not bad, considering you'll get the opportunity to be published by the biggest publisher here. What if you fail? You won't forbid me from working on the novel. But I will still have the crazy workload of a journalist. And I'll lose the chance to be published by them. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. <laughs> Again, don't give me that look. So you got three weeks to finish it? How far along are you? Uh... <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Mmm, well... It was so bad that, to the point that I just deleted everything immediately after reading it. It's not how you spell immediately. I can spell check for you guys. <laughs> so, zero? Huff. <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Hmm, sounds like a plan. If you pull it off well. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of the short stories I'm the most proud of here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. I want to make another drink. Come on. Oh, a demon lady? Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. We're here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet a friend, and I'm not planning to be awake all night. So a hot chocolate. So definitely no coffee. How about chocolate? It'll be perfect for this weather. I called it. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. It's like that or green tea, I think. <laughs> You're welcome. A cup of hot chocolate, please. Okay. So it should just be... Cocoa powder and milk, I guess. I don't think we need anything else. I think no secondary. 
you do need a secondary. More milk. See what this will make. Oh, that's a little picture for each one. Chocolate latte, shit. So, double cocoa and milk. Milk chocolate. I guess that's fine. I guess? Is, is that- does that work? Your drink is ready, miss. Hmm. You know, in my native language, we call the color brown chocolate. Because the color looks like... well, chocolate. And this drink doesn't look brown at all. Oh my, I'm sorry. I must have made a mistake. It's okay, at least it's not coffee. Shit, how did I get that wrong? And it's warm. So are you waiting for a friend? Yes, he should be here soon. God, I hope I can keep making drinks, it's my favourite part. <laughs> Look at you now. You've gone from not having anyone to three customers in one night. Ha. Huh. I thought this place would be more crowded considering it's the only cafe open after midnight around here. Oh, on the, the Steam page for Coffee Talk it says, uh, like, release date is sometime after midnight 2019. So that makes sense now. Because the only cafe that's open after midnight is mostly empty. Now that you mentioned it, is it good for business having the cafe only open at night? <laughs> Definitely not. Yep, as she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the cafe in this situation? That's a secret. Jen here is damn rich, that's the secret. Oh really? She's exaggerating. That's not how you spell exaggerating. Besides, I live in the cafe, so I'm saving a lot by not having to worry about accommodation costs. I think that's illegal. <laughs> Don't worry so much about him, he can manage. I'm sure the cafe won't close down anytime soon, so you'll still have a weird, calm place to meet up at night. Hmm, that's good to hear. By the way, seems like you're a regular here. I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer that works well at night and in a cafe. There's not so many options for that combination, right? Are Starbucks 24-7? No, no they're not. Are there any, like, 24-7 coffee shops? I guess McDonald's, but you wouldn't really want to go in there to... to write on a laptop? I don't, I don't think... I don't think there's any. But definitely not here. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whisper. Shut up! No, really. Wow, that's interesting. What kind of things do you cover? Anything, but mostly I cover interesting stories from people all around the town. She also writes the daily short stories in the paper. You really can't shut up tonight, can you? I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about right now. Oh, someone's coming. Yes, okay. Let me make a good drink. Don't just be like green tea. Welcome. Holy shit, nice scarf, my boy. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter that can keep me awake, but add some milk to it. So, like, double coffee and milk? I was gonna do, like, a, a latte. Uh, not a latte, a mocha. Double coffee and milk, let's see what this does. Cappuccino? That sounds good. Here's your order. Thanks. Perfect, you're good. Thank you. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. I know, Baileys, it's okay. As I told you, I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. With an S? <laughs> oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. I'm John. Did you know Miss Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whisper? Oh really? I did some work for them a few times before. Uh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. 
I did some caric caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yeah, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No. No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Come on, he's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Of course, there's always another hell beneath even the deepest hell. How does that even work? Shut up! I'm sure you've dealt with bad customers before. The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunkards or crim criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. He's good with his fists. Not as good as he is with coffee, though. Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'll write. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of this man. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner there next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <sighs> I'll try. Good luck. Wait, what's this little phone thing? Oh! Neat. This must just be things I've served, maybe? I didn't even see all this. It's amazing. Tomodachi. Oh, cool. So you can change the songs. Andrew Jeremy. Sound and project management. At N-D-R-U Jeremy on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool, I didn't know- like, what's this? Oh, you can, you can look at the whole thing, this must just be options. Thanks. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. Oh, her phone has little horns. So how was your day? It was fine, work was nothing special. I finished my proposal on time so my boss didn't keep me in the office late. Plus, I think he was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today was pretty special. Have the songs been changing at all? Let's listen to A Day With Coffee. I'm not sure what's happening, but it was great seeing him so happy. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. You know how they always depict really bad clients on memes? <laughs> well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that wouldn't help me a bit. Why not just make a meme about her then? And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? Actually, it might be worth it though. You should ask John here about how to deal with annoying clients. With fists, apparently. <laughs> oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones that don't need your fists to take care of. Ha, huh, I do have my own methods. And every single customer has to dealt with, be dealt with differently. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. And that's one good lesson to learn for the day. God knows I might be describing your parents without realizing it. Um, did I say something wrong? Oh no, it's okay. It won't be okay for us though. So you talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all? No. How about you? It's the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Ferran's house starting tonight. They kicked you out? You don't have to cause yourself this kind of problem, you know. They are your family. I can't stand even one more second living under the same roof with them. I mean, I might not have stable income, but I can manage with all the freelance jobs. Still, you don't know what they said about you last night. Was it like a Romeo and Juliet situation? But they're not 14. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. And I'll never be able to leave them. 
We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? We're not like humans, you know. I know some human couples get their family's consent because they get too old and the family just gives up. <laughs> but we're not human. We won't die of natural causes. Lua, I don't care about their permission. But I do. Do you want to be in this kind of relationship for the rest of eternity? If I get to spend it with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you love me? I do. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. And you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to leave the video there. I absolutely love this game so far. This is so cool. I love love the atmosphere. I love it's it's very. This, there's a subreddit called Our Cozy Places, and this just like feels like it. A lovely little cafe, open at past midnight in rainy Seattle. I think it's great. The atmosphere is so cool. Um, like it could have just been a visual novel. But I love that there's a whole drink preparing system, and it looks like there's like a ton of recipes in here as well. Like quite a lot in there. So yeah, I think this is really cool. I will definitely be taking another look at it when it comes to Steam sometime after midnight in 2019. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!